Hi everybody, my name is Keaton Aiken. Uh, I am currently a double major in mathematics and economics. It is my fifth year as I did take a five year program. And yeah, I go to the University of Calgary. So initially when I started it, I was only a math major. Um, I picked math because I love sports and a big part of sports is obviously statistics. I already loved math. Uh, I love physics, so I thought mathematics would be a fun degree. Favorite subject in school was, uh, other than gym, was obviously uh, calculus. So I decided to do that. Um, and going through it, I started econ. For, I had both econs in my first year. Um, I wasn't really considering taking econ as a, another major, but after taking a few more classes, I realized I didn't need money more for a minor, and I said, why not? So I decided to get a minor in economics, and I absolutely fell in love with economics. So I decided to take that extra one year and get myself an economics degree as well. So for mathematics, I definitely found it very busy, obviously. There's a lot of numbers involved and a lot of different concepts that you have to learn. Um, you do have to stay on top of your work, uh, unlike other ones where you go chapter, chapter, chapter. Usually math actually just builds up on it to, on each other. Um, so if you do fall behind, it can be tough. Econ, on the other hand, you usually relearn everything. Like you go in depth in one class and you relearn it the next class. Um, and if you miss something, it still builds up, but it's it does make sense. They all interconnect while in, as in math, it can be sometimes complicated to understand where they're connecting. In econ, it's a bit simpler. Uh, Career-wise, as a math major, it is a very open job. Basically, anywhere where there's numbers, you can try to get in. Uh, it can, in certain jobs, it will cause you uh, a disadvantage not to have the sort of specific that degree that they're asking for but you're good with numbers and that's what people want uh, economics uh, it's economics right so uh, personally with mine I want to buy and sell oil natural energy some stuff like that work for TC energy uh, husky or anything like that big energy companies um, but I can also go into insurance with, uh, my degrees um, and even some uh, engineering jobs, they do like no, uh, number crunchers and that's where math can come in. Um, basically, mathematics and economics are both data heavy jobs. Uh, so if you're good with data, if you're good with uh, finding connections from data, that's probably where your best bet is gonna go. In all honesty, uh, take whatever classes sound fun to you. Um, obviously you gotta meet your requirements so you can't take cla uh, BS classes your entire time, but uh, take classes that are fun. For example, my two favorite classes uh, is graph theory uh, for mathematics and the economics of sports for economics. Um, graph theory, I didn't even expect me to like it. I just read the description, thought it was cool, and I'm glad I took it. It was by far my favorite math class I love it them all and it helped my it went towards my degree uh, same with economics of sports um, but it didn't advance it right like there was no prerequisites afterwards it, I just really enjoyed it um, same with economics of sports it was a very interesting course and I'm really glad I took it um, another thing that I like I do recommend is doing it with buddies right um, I am taking this class right now, actually. Uh, it's called quantum physics for non-majors. And of course it's quantum physics, so everybody thinks it's hard. But with my buddies, it's very easy to get through. And in all on, it is not the hardest class. It is uh, one of those GPA boosters, but it, it's a lot more fun with friends, right? Um, and if you're interested in something outside your degree, uh, I, I, like that's how I actually got into economics is I was like I said started off enjoyed it decided to take a couple more classes realized I could get a minor fell in love with it and now I'm here 
you really don't know at the beginning of your semester try or uh beginning of university try it out see where it goes um for for teaching myself i was i'm not the best student in the world um i usually work i prefer working uh instead of doing school work but when i did do uh school work my recommendation is you don't do six hours straight of studying you do for me, I do 30 minutes, 15 off, 30 minutes, 15 off. And then at the end of the day, for me personally, my reward is I'd have a beer or two. That's what I did. Um, I find this helps me well, especially considering with work that I do on the side, sometimes I didn't have the best amount of time. And this was a way to both help me mentally because after that 15 minutes, I felt refreshed and I could go again. Um, strongly recommend that as a study style. Um, and study a bit every day. It doesn't have to be over, like, e even if you're busy, you're going to bed, 15 minutes of just reviewing your notes is always a good thing to do. Um, when I did move out, I moved out with some buddies, um, not onto residence, but uh, just very close to the university. Uh, one key thing that I learned is you, you do have to find some buddies that are good with you and that you enjoy being around. Um, also, uh, stay financially on top of things. It, like You can get into debt, and I know people would be a lot of debt, but uh, definitely try to stay on top of that. Um, also, definitely try, like if you're not a big cooker, uh, I'm still struggling with this. I'm starting to cook for myself a bit more, but um, yeah, cooking in, first off, once you become a good cook, it tastes a lot better. And second off, yeah, you do save money, it's healthier, and everything like that. Well, for resources, I can't talk too much on them. Um, I didn't really use any of them. Uh, but definitely use them. Uh, when I did use them for, I've used them for academic, uh, but when I, def when I did use them, they definitely did help, right? Um, on the ep academic side, at least, they got these guys that are there, they're volunteering their time and they know their stuff. Um, so they can, they can help you uh, with essays and papers and all that. I cannot spell for the life of me, so these guys helped a lot. So for first years uh, or people going into it, definitely go connect, uh, go join clubs, connect with people, Get the outside opportunities. I did not do that. I, and it's one of my big, biggest regrets about university. It connects you to people. It helps you out um, immensely. It makes you friends um, and you get to learn new stuff. Uh, one big thing, so I actually got, I found a uni buddy out, you know, in a job that I worked with and he's brought me together with my current university friends. I didn't make them at university, it was, kind of just the luck of the draw. So I definitely recommend, like I'm, I'm lucky in that. So definitely go out, meet people, experience new situations. Um, second off, uh, this one's, your parents won't say, but I know of quite a few people that have dropped out and are still uh, doing successful. They're doing their own thing, right? So university is not the live and die. Um, if you do not like it, uh, if you're, you just lose all hope, you really hate it. Your mental health is a lot more important than your education. Um, yes, your education helps, but there's a lot of different types of education. The university itself does not need to be your end all be all. Uh, so if you do start, you get to that point where you are absolutely done. You hate your degree. You're, you want to find something else. Talk to your parents. See if that's okay with them or like talk to them, tell them how you're feeling, get the help um, because sometimes it's just not right for everybody and people got to realize that, um, right? You, there's trades, there's a whole bunch of things and maybe you even just have to find a new degree in all honesty. Uh, with my mathematics degree, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Um, and I know, like, I know a lot of math majors that actually dropped out. I am having a lot more fun with my economics degree than I, I did with my mathematics degree. And so 
you just got to kind of find your degree that you're you're passionate about you change in four years it, it, there's no doubt about it so uh like it, it might not be the biggest best option but it, it is an option to drop out there is a lot of stuff out there that you can do and that you can enjoy